what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Design with Adobe XD. My name is Michael Wong and in this episode I'm going to show you how to make the most of the symbols tool in Adobe XD. So as you can see I have gone ahead and created our very first iOS menu bar. And of course since we're designing an app this menu bar is going to be used in many different locations. So if I wanted to make one very simple tweak I would need to have to go through every single artboard just to make that change. So if I duplicated this artboard and I wanted to make the menu bar black, I would have to make that tweak manually. And that's very time consuming. So if we wanted to use symbols, symbols is a very powerful tool which allows us to create reusable elements. So further down the track, if we want to make a very simple tweak, we only need to make the change in one place and it will be applied throughout the entire design. So let's go ahead and make this white again. And let's turn this into a symbol. So turning a group of elements into a symbol is very simple. You can either hit Command K if you're on a Mac device, Control K on a Windows device, or you can simply right click on the folder and hit Make Symbol. Straight away you will see that the icon has changed and then also a green highlight slash border has appeared. You can also access all your symbols in the bottom left corner, as you can see here on the Symbols Library icon. Now we have our very first symbol appearing. So if I was to duplicate this artboard and I wanted to make the menu bar black, immediately you will see that the change has been applied to both menu bars. Now let's delete this, let's turn this back to white. If you want to use the existing symbols that you have created, you can either duplicate it by hitting Command D on a, on a Mac device or Control D on a Windows device and you can drag it to wherever you want to use it or you can drag it from the symbols library directly. As you can see here, so if you make this black change has been applied. Cool. So that's it for symbols. It's a very powerful tool. So if you have any questions about symbols, don't forget to ask in the comments below. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with friends and also subscribe. I will see you in another video very soon.